you stay up here with me. You earned your slot and all this because you went to the whole <laughs> island and the rest of it. Basically what I started out on my own years and years ago to empty audiences at all the major hotels and it took forever to fill those uh, seats and, and to finally work with Hilton and get them to uh, consider a pillow gift for the book and to put little tent cards at the Hilton. This is called destination management that does all of this and this is what we're going to try to tap in uh, for David's concept. We'd love to see as many of you follow that template as possible uh, for anything that you have to offer, even if it's a hug of aloha. Uh, if you can connect personally with people, and, and that's the way you establish your income also, is uh, when you have personal contact, your uh, hit ratio goes up, and I'm sorry to get mechanical about this and, and dollars and signs about it, but it, it goes from one out of 100 to one out of 10 that you're going to score with this person that will want your services personally. And as far as I'm concerned, you're healing the planet and doing it. And this is, uh, uh, there's thousands of people that have had the similar vision uh, of this entire whole island as being a healing center for the future. It's one of the, as a matter of fact, there was a book completely out of print for 30 years and now it's back in print called The Astrology. I hope that's not a kiss of death word for some of you. Uh, the Astrology of American Destiny, Dane Rudyard, I think, wrote it. Uh, picked his, uh, Hawaii is one of the three, almost as powerful as a seat of government and a new order of, of a light unto the world. I like to call it a lighthouse unto the world. And in the Hopi and uh, to the uh, other tribes, the Lakota, and one other have a legend of this place that they came from with no winter, surrounded by water in the most remote destination of all the earth. And it smacks of these uh, tales of Lemuria and Mu of the time before Atlantis in legend and folklore. Uh, will shine a light of a strange blue frequency that has never been seen before on the earthly plane of existence. Like a lighthouse unto the world. And it could begin with you here today, all of you, if you're interested in sharing your healing arts and sharing your uh, interest in it. Oh good, thank you dear, because I'll talk forever. We've got five minutes left. Um, there's a formula that the, the direct marketing consultants before, it was like banging on a steel door without uh, an access code and now that door is open of uh, how much they get, how much you get, how to write down what you uh, present, and if enough people can come up with uh, a greeting talk, we might be able to get it to Hilton Grand Vacations Club. And that's a lot of uh, timeshare people. If I had the book to do all over again, I would put in there, uh, <coughs> what was it like the first uh, California bumper sticker? Welcome to California, but don't forget to go home. <laughs> Instead of moving here, there have been a lot of... Over a thousand people have relocated because of the little red book through the years and many of them have not stayed because they were looking for something in their spirit that they hadn't embraced back where they were. And so Hawaii ended up being their lesson instead of their destination. And if I really had it all to do over again, it would be the vacation place. And instead of Hilton Grand Vacation uh, uh, Club of Timeshare, I would change that name to Hilton Grand Sanctuary, uh, Grand uh, Yearly Church of coming to this place, this sacred ground. And so some of the uh, uh, advertising slogans that we're approaching Board of Tourism with is exactly that. I don't know how many of you saw the article in David's uh, newspaper. There are copies out there from uh, that introduced the expo. But the uh, cover article, I can't even remember my own plug now. It says uh, Hawaii. That's the ancient uh, Hawaii perspective for the human condition. So that's our little toe in the door with uh, in Hawaii come back to sacred ground. Hawaii uh, and it says at the top, what are you really looking for? Human soul right now is in cardiac arrest folks and people are 
looking for answers, they're looking for sanity, they're looking for a quiet place to just stand on the high mountain and put their lives back into place. You know, some where they can get out of the rat race, stand away from the white noise static, and just exhale. Some people don't even inhale all the time they're here. And when they inhale, you got this beautiful tuberose. There we go. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and, uh, and it's your job to teach them how to inhale. They've forgotten how. <laughs> it's like that. If you have to beat their face with mush, <laughs> it's fine. Whatever it takes. And we'd like to help you with that. And what I wanted to put uh, David on the spot for, I have no idea what his plans of the future for, but someone like him who's qualified needs to form one of the first management companies out of this to be that rainbow bridge to the traditional way of doing things. The archaic old uh, dinosaur that's caught in the headlights right now and doesn't know how to fill its magazine rack. Okay, we can do it and bring them back. And bring them back for a richer experience. Now remember the old paradigm, everything up to now has been under the guise, under the heading of frivolity. Something that we uh, afford when we have extra money. Leisure tourism. This is an investment for your soul. An investment for your well-being when you come to this island and hang out. Even if you're having my ties by the pool, consider that larger notion and it will work for you. And I've had more people through the years say, I just wish I'd read the little book before I came here. Now it all begins to sort of make sense. You are that bridge. You're that rainbow bridge. You're the new thought thinkers. You're the alternative measure. You're the bridge between east and west. And if you can all, in whatever you offer, honor Hawaiians in doing this, you're going to learn something that may be the missing piece to your healing puzzle, even if it's the most sophisticated of Eastern philosophies. There's an old, uh, when, when we can talk story around the campfire, I'll tell you the Lemurian tale about that one about how it all probably originated here anyway. So for those of you who are feeling drawn back to this place, Reynolds and Clay Kamakabee will only talk about how, as Pila mentioned earlier, there are other tribes and people all around the world who feel as if at, that, at the time that Lemuria had its cataclysm, that um, the wisdom was scattered to the various parts of the planet and that we are all bringing it back in our way because this is the time. There you so go. All of and that metaphor will work together. for you. If you play the game that way, you will learn and you will remember something that's vital to you. And then we'll be able to consider the, the uh, tikis at Honana that the carver of Tom, the, Kahuna that replenishes those. I said, one night at midnight, I said, these aren't Lono Tikis. He says, no. I said, those are the seven sisters of the Pleiades. And he says, that's what I feel like when I'm recarving them from where we came from. Aloha, everybody. Thank you all for coming.